Let's talk about the best R packages for creating interactive graphics. So what exactly is an interactive graphic? It's a visual display that allows you to dynamically provide information to the users based on the user interacting with the graphic. There's four different R packages I'd like to mention in this video. The first is the Plotly package. The Plotly package provides functions to make ggplot2 graphics interactive, as well as a custom interface to the plotly.js JavaScript library. This is perhaps the best known interactive visualization library period because Plotly is provided in all kinds of different platforms. You can create Plotly graphics using Python, using Julia, and through other software. The second package I want to mention is the ggiraf package. This is another really powerful R package that is specifically focused on creating interactive ggplot2 graphics using HTML widgets. In some ways, it's more customizable than Plotly from my personal experience, but the learning curve is a bit steeper, and I don't think that the base graphics are as useful as what you get when you use Plotly. Another useful interactive graphics package is the RGL package. This is a package I actually used in the early 2000s in order to produce part of my PhD dissertation. And this package provides functions to create 3D interactive graphics using OpenGL. And you can also use it to produce 3D graphics in various standard 3D file formats. So it has a slightly different use case than some of the other packages I've mentioned so far. The last package I wanted to mention for creating interactive graphics is actually the Shiny package. And Shiny is very unique. It's really a package for creating interactive web apps but you can get interactive visualizations based on using that package. That's by far the most complex, but perhaps the most powerful in terms of overall impact and what you can do with it. I wanted to briefly illustrate what you can do with these packages that we've just talked about. First, I wanted to provide a graphic created by the Plotly package. Specifically, let's look at a surface plot of the Manga Howe volcano data. That is one of the base data sets that's often used to illustrate functionality in R. You can see here we have this surface plot of the volcano data. When I hover my mouse over the 3D graphic, I can see the X coordinate, Y coordinate, and Z position on this surface plot. I can actually rotate this graphic around, which is very cool. If I go upside down, I can see uh, some really cool stuff, I think. The color on the surface plot indicates the height of the volcano in meters at that particular location. Next, I wanted to provide an example of what you can do with the ggiraf package. This is actually very similar to what you can do with the Plotly package, simply because the Plotly package can extend ggplot2 to create interactive graphics. But ggiraf is more focused specifically on extending the ggplot2 package. So in this graphic, I'm using the Star Wars dataset from the dplyr package, and I've plotted measurements of the mass of various Star Wars characters in kilograms versus their height in centimeters. We can see we have an outlier way up here at the top, and what makes this graphic interactive is that when I hover my mouse over these points, I actually can see the character name associated with each one of these observations. And I've actually done a robust linear model fit to this particular data and added that smooth to this graphic. And when I hover over the smooth, I can actually see the intercept and slope of the line, which is a pretty useful piece of information. Next, let's look at an interactive graphic produced by the RGL package. Specifically, we're going to look at a three-dimensional perspective plot with contour levels for the same, mon for the same Manga Hao volcano data that we used for the Plotly package. The graphic looks a little bit different, the colors are different, but this is still the same data set that's being displayed. And I can rotate this data if I want around, I can look at it upside down. And not only can I see the colors that are used to distinguish the different levels of the height of the volcano surface, but I can actually see the contour lines that indicate the level where the height is the same. So if I follow this particular contour line around, I know that the height associated with each one of the points on that line have exactly the same height on this particular surface. Lastly, I wanted to provide an example of a Shiny web app. If you go to the Shiny website, there's actually a gallery of web apps that you can see that people have produced. One of them is related to NCAA swim teams and is found at this particular web address, which I've already opened up here. 
And this web app is supposed to help you to identify different places with swim programs. If you were a competitive swimmer and wanted to know what schools you might want to go to. So if you're a male and you wanted to look at schools in New England that are part of the Division I NCAA athletic program, uh, the University of Maine, you have Dartmouth University, as well as other universities and colleges listed here. If perhaps you wanted to move to the Pacific Coast, you can see some other schools here like USC, UC Santa Barbara, Cal Poly, etc. And so you can see that this is a way of interacting interactively with the data, though what is produced by a Shiny app is often very different from the other R packages previously discussed.